we finally met Tito Harold. He gave us a visit today to get a free assessment because his uh, first road bike has been giving him problems, especially his mountain bike. Today, he's going to get his free assessment, free consultation, and uh, figure out if it's going to be Super good. Superbike. Okay, hop in. Let's see how you ride, huh? No wrong, no right. Just ride. Well, that's how it was supposed to be designed. So now you notice how far it is, right? Okay. So I need to make some uh, adjustments without having to change the stem unless we find a shorter stem, okay? And this is the limitation of integrated bikes is we are very limited to the adjustments and that's the, one of the biggest challenges. Uh, one of the things that we really have to change would be the stem and if we can contact the local distributor of Trek to find a shorter stem. But at the moment, we just have to make something out of it, okay? Now... A little bit uh, is, uh, uncomfortable. Not little bit. <laughs> You're too modest. It's very, very uncomfortable. Okay, I'm going to call you Tito Harold. Okay, Tito Harold, what we need to do right now is uh, we're going to hack it. Hack it meaning that we cannot perfect it. But since your objective is just to ride it muna, diba? You're not thinking about gold medal in the Southeast Asia. Okay, so our objective today is how to make it rideable at the moment. Okay? Rideable at the moment to make you a little bit more comfortable. Let's talk about uh, performance along next time, okay. okay? So this is part of your assessment phase, okay? And you don't really have to uh, warm up too much because apparently your body is trying to adapt to the, uh, a beautiful bike, but the bike needs to adapt to you, not you. Okay, done. Get off the bike. <laughs> as simple as so, that. So after doing a 15-minute bike fitting, this bike uh, already fits. Okay, that took uh, 10 minutes. Uh, this is the moment of truth. You got to give me a thumbs up if it starts to feel different, okay? Yes. It feels different? Yes. Very nice, very nice. Just keep that steady, okay? Very nice and much better. Now, can you hold the top of those hoods? The highest, beautiful. Perfect, perfect. This is perfect. the latest, okay? Real men wear pink. <laughs> the next part of the program, which is the most important part, is the engine, okay? We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna prove to people that pink makes peep men <laughs> powerful, okay? So that's a secret. Wear pink, it'll be super. Hop in. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Next, not yet, not yet. Uh, not, okay. You got it? Okay, right. and then I'm getting, okay. <sighs> so, uh, this guy is a total newbie. He's got a change of heart. This part of the program, after the 15 minute bike fitting, we're gonna start working on the engine and that's what you call biomechanics, okay? Biomechanics is relevant for anyone, regardless of any background, any skill level, any fitness level. Uh, the objective is how we can we leapfrog years and years of YouTube, browsing and Googling, okay? It's dripping, right? Yeah, heavy lifting for about maybe and that, 30 minutes. <laughs> and that was just 10 minutes, okay? So that's how effective the biomechanical tuning is. Mm -hmm. It activates so much muscles, okay? Yeah. And in fact, this is Tito Harold. We just met here in the parking lot. I mean, no idea. He just brought his bike. Uh, we're done with the bike fitting. The bike fitting is the easiest part of the program. It only takes 15 minutes. Not four hours, not five hours, not six hours. So we're going to save you some time with that. What... Uh, takes more time is the biomechanical tuning. So, you've seen Tito Harold start with his assessment. That was for free. And if we figure that you can improve with uh, with a simple assessment and we say that you can improve, this is his first time to own a bike, like literally own a, a, a road bike. So, now you're gonna see the result. This is the result of his biomechanical tuning and posture correction, okay? Game? Game, okay. How to apply more power this is an example that after every sprint you can uh, recover like like in a few minutes you can recover flush down the lactic acid and then you can sprint again okay Here we go.
gonna be behind the video so far you look so much more balanced much better than when we started this is excellent work on my cue we're gonna sprint again okay you gotta remember where to produce the torque okay it's not about speed it's not about power it's about producing torque okay I'm gonna start counting down when I start counting down you go crazy it's like you're trying to chase those bad boys okay move forward in the saddle here we go go to the sprint position now on my cue go as low as possible rest those ready set go 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 Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. done recover how do you feel I mean that was fast right okay since you gave me a thumbs up no more refund <laughs> Because we have a refund if it didn't work out. So no refund. Good. Excellent. Get off the bike. Now let's see how fast you can recover from the lactic acid. Yeah, okay. But look at me. Some people, after doing so many training already, usually people have like massive lactic acid. Not bad, right? feel good, yes. The legs feel lighter. Yeah. But so far, so good. No knee pains. Unlike when I mountain bike about a few days ago three days ago yeah I, I felt the pain here. The, the knee so pain I, I think I think uh, I did something wrong that I really could not uh, figure out <laughs> now we figured it out okay 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 good so we're gonna have a selfie one two three so we did it right no refund for him according no to him refund. no refund uh, we're gonna make him a real life terminator Satisfied customer I'll be back <laughs> okay done I'll be joining you はぐれた日などにもいつかは優しい懐に耐える明日もあるだろうなのになぜ巡り変える